you know, Edith Heath design, the clay bodies, are the, they're, they, they are belong only to Heath, the ones that we use. And she wanted a very specific function and very specific aesthetic to the clay. So, I mean, to the, to the, to the dinnerware that she was designing. So that wasn't about sketching a design, making a shape. She started by designing the raw material. So there's a lot of different materials that go into this clay that make it do what it does and make it be turned into the kind of plates where, uh, you know, they can last more than a lifetime and they can be handed off to the next generation uh, and have those kind of qualities. So a lot of materials go into that, and she designed the raw material because she was looking for a certain aesthetic. The other so great thing was that she designed it to be fired at a low temperature um, and have this really high quality. So she was very frugal in um, thinking about that, and today it's called green. But yeah. <laughs> there was no such term as green there. there and then it was just called you know, doing something, doing smart, something smart and smart. responsible. <laughs> So, so we always get confused, too, when people ask us what our green story is. We kind of, I don't know, we walk the other way. Um, but uh, so we could go on and on about clay. But, you know, knowing materials means you know what to do with it. And so you know what materials do what, and you know through that through a lot of testing. Uh, and you know how to apply it. So in the whole process. And so materials are the start of that. Then there's the process and understanding that whole process so you can make the products really well. You can understand when, you know, you can make things well. You can, you know, you can make a bad mold or you can make a good mold. If you want a good product, you have to have a good mold. You have to have good materials. And those are all the choices that have to be made along the way. Anything can be made well. Anything can be made poorly. Uh, even the simplest of things. And uh, so it's important to understand all those things. And then when designing the, the whole company, you know, in, 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 you know, in, in, in a, as I understand it, a program like this is about, you know, really hands-on making and, and craftsmanship of the product itself. And if you are going to create something that's really wonderful and you put all this passion into it and all the thought into it, you want to carry that through, at least for us, we want to carry that through into the rest of that product's life and also the rest of how your company represents that product and vice versa. It all needs to be, for us at least, very consistent and very holistic. If you've got a wonderful raw material that you're making your dinnerware out of, and you want to have all your materials, your catalogs be on wonderful printed paper as well because it all says the same kind of things. 